Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a video to have a look at one or two benefits of signing into Windows 10 and 11 using a PIN instead of a Microsoft account password. Now, as many of you know, both operating systems have different signing options. And just to mention a couple of those quickly, you can sign into Windows 10 and or 11 using a local account with a password. But um, this only works on one computer only, so it's limited to a single device. Then you can sign in using a Microsoft account with a Microsoft um, account password. And the password is obviously for your Microsoft account. So if you have different devices set up um, using um, both your account and your Microsoft account and password, then you can use this option on a number of different devices. And then you get to uh, the option we're going to have a quick look at in this video today, signing into um, your device using your Microsoft account with a PIN, which works um, on the computer the PIN has been set up on. So that PIN is specific to uh, the device it has been set up on. Now, in case you didn't know what a PIN is, um, it's made up of four characters, be that numbers or, or uh, letters. And the process is very similar on both Windows 10 and 11. So if we just head to our settings, accounts, account sign-in options. Yeah, you can see Windows Hello PIN, sign-in with a PIN. And this is actually the recommended option by Microsoft. And then you get you can options there. You can change your PIN, uh, remove your PIN. If you forget your PIN, you have an option where you can go through a process. And then over and above... Um, using a local account with a password or a Microsoft account with a password. You have, you have some other options to sign in here with you have facial recognition, fingerprint recognition. If your device supports it, you can use a security key. But the recommended option and the option I use is signing in uh, with a Microsoft account with a PIN. Now, um, the PIN is stored locally, so it's basically an extra layer of security um, which can protect, can protect you from remote um, attacks and online attacks. So um, many attacks these days are remote code um, execution attacks. So that means they are taking place over a network or online. And um, the benefit of using a PIN instead of your Microsoft account password is the PIN is specific to the device. Although you can still access your Microsoft account on that device, you can only sign in using the PIN, so you cannot access that remotely. So um, that's a benefit. It gives it extra layer of security. Now, obviously, um, it goes without saying that it can still be po uh, be possible uh, to guess a PIN, and um, that's maybe if you're a work in a, in a work environment or in an environment where somebody has access to your information or they maybe have access uh, and know you well enough to maybe try and guess your PIN. And then the, this is what the, you call a brute force attack where the bad guys will um, at, uh, enter your password or your PIN numerous times until they guess your password. But Microsoft is uh, pre preventing uh, these brute force attacks um, against um, user account PINs by limiting attempts. And also, just on a side note, um, they are working on a default setting to protect your PC against brute force attacks, which is rolling out with Windows 11 version 22H2, this year's feature update for Windows 11. And um, that will lock your account for 10 minutes if an incorrect password is entered 10 times. So that's also in the works. Now, um, if somebody does gain access um, to your device and they do guess your PIN, as an example, um, gaining access to uh, your PC that, that is protected by a PIN doesn't give them um, access, automatic access to your Microsoft account um, on that device. And the only way um, they will be able to get uh, two features of your Microsoft account would be, so as an example, if you have an email set up that is already set up on that device, um, as a just a minor example, that has already been logged in and um, they can get access to your email and that's the only way they can get access to your account and different services um, uh, uh, that is um, services that you have already signed in using your Microsoft account on that device but they can't actually get to your Microsoft account if they do guess your PIN so obviously and um, it goes without saying that you need to pick a secure PIN but I just wanted to discuss that in this video as I thought it was quite interesting and 
um, it is the recommended option and it is the option I do use and um, in, in my personal um, experience I do find though it does um, give you an extra layer of protection as mentioned it can protect you um, and is basically an extra layer of security against online tax and um, which uh, these days are quite common where um, you get remote code tax and that means that that pin cannot be accessed um, remotely it's specific to your device so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one